All right, so here we have Phil. Phil is a Raspberry Pi enclosure that has been built around the original parts and components of a late manufacturer black and white CRT television. As a matter of fact, it's one of these guys. Uh, I picked two of these up at a local thrift store and the main reason why I sought this one out as opposed to others was it was made in 2005 so it has composite input so there was far less uh, modification needed to make it suit the purpose. But the enclosure I designed, I built around uh, virtual analogs that I built of the circuit boards and the tube and all of the components that is part of the original television. Take all the plastic out and then print out all the parts and put it into this guy. Now it's, his name is Phil and uh, if it's not obvious it's a nod to the 1950s uh, Philco televisions. Um, so it's retro styled. All of the enclosure is 3D printed. Um, the silver was painted and this is a straight black PLA. Um, you can see he has a built-in powered USB hub uh, in the back here as well as a port for the GPIO cable to come out. Uh, the original TV and its uh, FM radio still function. It's all still it all still works. This version is the original prototype. It went through a couple modifications. Uh, I have an angle connector for the power now for the second version that's coming out, but uh, the SD card uh, can be inserted right there. And inside is a Raspberry Pi just kind of hanging out, uh, as well as an infrared receiver for uh, a media center remote. And it's currently running uh, XBN, uh, which is an XBNC Media Center edition. So it'll read these r remotes just fine and you can manipulate uh, without the need of a keyboard. Right now I have the receiver for this little guy hooked up so I can control this like a computer so I can be a lot more efficient and effective. So what's nice about it is that um, it has the speaker. I actually built into the base the speaker. It's on the underside, uh, and it mounts uh, using the exact same cable lengths as the original television as well. Um, so you can uh, simply print the parts and uh, move them straight over. It still has the knob for the television tuning, and I don't have it installed right now because there was a misalignment in the original version of this file. Uh, but it's been updated on the version that's on the Thingiverse. Now, the challenge with this is that really, unless you have one of these televisions and this exact version of the USB hub that I have, none of the parts that you have are going to fit into this. This was a proof of concept. And the proof of concept uh, was basically to stylistically repurpose an old television and make it a Raspberry Pi Media Center. And the goal is that I'm designing a second version, the, the sibling to Phil, his name is Orson. Uh, Orson is designed to be easily sourceable, a lot of components from Adafruit, um, as well as um, a Raspberry Pi. I'm looking at um, some of the new, uh, more sophisticated, uh, uh, micro con uh, microcomputer boards like the Beagle Bone, uh, and Orson is going to actually uh, be a product that can either be purchased, the kit can be purchased, or it could be totally independently sourced, printed, and assembled by anyone else. Phil was kind of the was kind of. Uh, wetting the whistlers or uh, cutting the teeth to get this whole process started. And uh, it's cute, uh, and if you have the parts, feel free to print and have one of your own. Thanks.